Hello and welcome to Perspectives on the Voice of America. I'm Dimyake Mwakadielie. Millions of people around the world use social networking websites on the internet to communicate and share information. Users can join networks organized by city, workplace, school and region to connect and interact with other people. Users can also add friends and send them messages and update their personal profile to notify friends about themselves. One of the fastest growing of these sites is Facebook. A Harvard University student founded Facebook in 2004. Membership was initially limited to Harvard students, but eventually expanded to include any student uh, at the university, then high school students, and to finally anyone aged 13 and over. Facebook has met with some controversy though. Some countries, including Syria and Iran, have blocked its use, and it is not always accessible in China. User privacy also has been an issue, and hackers at times have broken into Facebook sites. Despite these concerns, more and more people are flocking to Facebook to catch up with old friends, make new ones, build up their social networking skills, and even find love. VOA's Paul Diho has that story. Good afternoon, Facebook. Can we help you? The rapidly growing social network, Facebook, which brands itself as the Internet's leading social utility, opened its doors beyond college campuses last fall to anyone via regional networks. With the self-proclaimed goal of helping people better understand the world around them by developing technologies that facilitate the spread of information through such networks, college students all over the U.S. rushed to sign up for new accounts on Facebook. Since then, it has taken the whole world by storm. Stephanie Quinn, a student at Bucknell University. I've had a Facebook since um, the summer before I started college. And I got one mainly because most of my friends already had one. And I knew that we would be apart from each other in the fall because we'd all be going off to different colleges that were spread throughout the country. So I wanted to keep in touch with them. Facebook ranks as the seventh most trafficked site in the U.S. according to Comscore's Media Metrics, a leading source for internet audience measurement. Facebook claims more than 16 million members, with more than half logging in daily. The site is designed to enable members to communicate with the world around them in a variety of ways, providing more than a social networking site for some young people. They use it to check their regular email okay. and read updates of what's going on with their family and friends. Muhammad Jallo, a student at City University of New York, used it to find his current girlfriend. Facebook is a very important social networking tool. Um, for me personally, it has been very beneficial. I actually found my girlfriend on Facebook. Uh, she was somebody I knew a long time ago and I was searching on Facebook, I came across her profile. Facebook also has professional applications, helping politicians and other professionals reach out to different demographics. Noticeable political faces on Facebook include U.S. presidential candidates Barack Obama, John McCain, U.S. President George Bush, and Francis Nicholas Sarkozy, to name but a few. There are other networking sites like MySpace, which offers a fundamentally different approach to networking. MySpace allows users to add music to their profile pages via MySpace Music, a service that allows bands and independent artists to post songs for use on MySpace. Lola Oksami, who uses MySpace to promote her music, is an upcoming artist from Nigeria. I use MySpace to promote my music. I'm a musician, I'm a singer-songwriter, and I put my music on there, tell people to go look, also network with other musicians. Of course, critics are beginning to note a darker side to the growing popularity of such sites. In response, Facebook has assured users that friendship on Facebook is, in and of itself, a privacy setting. Privacy may be taking on a new meaning, but it looks like Facebook, MySpace, and other networking services are here to stay. 
for good or for worse. See you on Facebook. I'm Paul Ndiho, VOA News. And that's it for today. For more on Facebook, please go to voanews.com. Also, we'd love to hear from you, so drop us a line at africatv at voanews.com. Please include your name, location, and the station you're watching. Until next week, I'm Dumyake Mokalielie for The Voice of America.